being that social needs are so important for the development of human beings and who we are at our basic level, man, woman alike, they have really direct implications for our health, both immediately and in the long term, and uh, really around the, the major systems of our body that help us stay healthy and balanced mentally, physically, as well as the dynamic connection between both in that mind-body connection. One of the areas that is impacted very uh, significantly is uh, respiratory health, our lungs. Uh, this is the ability to take in oxygen from the outside world and breathe. This is incredibly important. Um, if we don't have enough uh, social connection, we get stuck in a fight or flight mode. Our body gets stuck in that very anxious, uh, sympathetic uh, central nervous system state. Um, our blood rushes out of our head and out of our uh, organs that really help us uh, do the, the basic physical processes and get uh, shot into our arms and legs where we you know, want to fight or flight. Um, it's, it's really not good for us. And the more that we can be connected to our loved ones and have safety and security with them, um, the more the, the blood flow stays nice and regulated in the areas that we get the most bang for our buck. Uh, to get the, the balance in the most healthy direction, so to speak. The second area is the circulatory uh, area of our body, the cardiovascular system. This is our heart, our veins, our arteries, what takes the blood flow through the entire body, really from our lungs, it carries oxygen everywhere. The more we're jacked up and alone and stressed out and isolated and not able to regulate ourselves, the more that we get uh, stuck with cortisol in our bloodstream. This is a natural inflammatory. This makes us uh, sore, our joints, the aches and pains get worse, as well as um, really a, a lot of trouble with the gastrointestinal tract, uh, absorbing nutrients properly. This plays out in a lot of chronic health issues and autoimmune diseases later in life. Um, you know, especially around uh, breaking down uh, nutrients and digestive stuff, as well as getting enough recovery and sleep. This could be very, very disruptive for this. Um, so the more those social needs are met, the more we have benefits to those two systems. And last, the third one is our mental health. Um, I, I know this almost cannot be understated, but it's really important to just be very direct about it, that our social connections are a very important part about how a human beings are designed and programmed to connect with ourselves, connect with the world around us, and really navigate um, our experiences in day-to-day -day life um, with some degree of predictability. And when those things are not happening, uh, people get very, very sick very, very quickly. I think a really great example is what you tend to see um, in prison systems when people uh, go to solitary confinement and stay in solitary confinement for periods of time. Uh, they start cracking up and becoming very psychotic and even more aggressive and even more dangerous to themselves and the other people. And some people get, you know, prisoners will get stuck in solitary confinement for a long time. I think there's some very uh, established and uh, popular documentaries uh, about this uh, very rampant problem um, in, in the prison systems. So just a very good example about how important these social needs are to everybody, man, woman, prisoners who happen to be incarcerated for, for doing crimes in the community.